Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot doing mid-month readings for all the zodiac signs. Uh, this reading is going to be for Pisces. Keep in mind that they are general readings, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. For everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared, thank you so much. It's so appreciated because I am a new channel. And um, keep sending the artwork. I do have one that was sent to me um, that was from Donna from Dansbury, New Hampshire. It's my Aztec Lion. Great work. But it needs company. So um, any ideas about a logo for Strength and Wisdom Tarot, um, an owl and a lion, please send it to strengthandwisdom at gmail.com. Okay, without any further ado, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Okay, some nice cards here, Pisces. Stay there. All right, on the bottom of the deck, three of swords. This is the heartbreak card. The underlying theme. Um, a lot of people think that it could be a third party interference. Um, it just to be clear what third party in interference is, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't have to be cheating. It could be your friend, you know, saying to you, why are you still talking to them? Why are you still dating them? You know, and it would be an influence. Um, and of course, it would mean the other thing. But let's get into the reading. <clears throat> Pisces, what's signifying you in the Celtic Cross is... The Page of Pentacles. And these are messengers. This one happens to be the messenger of the earth sign, which is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, and pentacles are being money or anything that's valuable to you. And they're usually optimistic and such, so this is you. And what's going to help or hinder you is a hair font. And the hair font is all about financial institutions, maybe college. Um, I call it the faith and hope card, of course, religion card. So we'll see how that plays out with you. That's interesting. In your foundation, we have the Knight of Cups. And he is also a messenger. Cups being the emotion, he's the messenger of sending something that's heartfelt. Pisces, were you hoping to get a response back? Let's see. What's crowning your reading is absolutely fantastic. Wheel of Fortune. Upright. Now, in the upright, this is karma, good karma coming your way. It's things turning around in your favor. So if you are on a um, an unlucky streak, things are about to change. Bringing good fortune your way. That's crowning your reading, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's hope this means that you've... Uh, your love life is going to turn around, so to speak. In the past, we have the Four of Wands. In the right away deck, you would see um, this little shanty in a castle in the background. And I always considered it um, the beginning of building your castle um, with somebody, which could mean a marriage. It could mean a... Um, a committed relationship starting, like moving in together or something. But this is the beginning of your castle. Now, Pisces, going into your future. One of my favorite cards, the High Priestess. <clears throat> now, the High Priestess is all about the intuition. 
She's arced just like that moon. Because her intuition pulls her. She trusts it. She lets it guide her. She knows secrets. If the time is right, maybe she'll tell you. Maybe she won't. But she's absolutely brilliant. Okay, so that's three major arcana Pisces <clears throat> right off the bat. So here we are. You're challenged by, <clears throat> excuse me, your faith, your hope. In the past, you made a message, an emotional message, that maybe turned your world around that you were supposed to start. Start living together. Start a happy home. Because your intuition is telling you, telling you that this seems right. Now, Pisces, how everyone sees you in your environment. It's a seven of wands. And this guy is on higher ground. Okay, it's conflict. And he's guarding his emotions because that one wand that's in his hand is right across his chest. Pisces, maybe people see you a little defensive, um, argumentative. But I get the feeling that you're argumentative over a relationship. Maybe not everybody's on board. Not everybody, you know, thinks maybe you should be with this person. But to you, it seems right. Hmm. Because Pisces, um, the next cards you have are great. In your environment, you have the Ten of Cups. And this is having it all. The happy home. You know, happy life. All ten cups are full. Um, tens are a completion. You know, rainbows and unicorns. So your atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. And it's beautiful when it goes with this. Pisces, in your hopes and fears, we have the Six of Wands. And that's victory. That's coming back from a battle, no matter what that battle is, and being victorious. And there's a lot of people that admire you for this victory. I mean, there's a couple of the crowd that don't, but majority. Pisces, your outcome card. The chariot. The success card. The moving on card. But it only moves if you have these two sphinxes, the gold and the silver, working together. Where this is your head, your heart, your hopes, your fears, no matter what it is, that chariot's going nowhere unless these two things work together. But Pisces, when they do, you're going places. It could mean chariot. I mean, it could mean travel, but the chariot could take you anywhere you want to be and be successful. So Pisces, everything looks like it's going in your favor. You made an offer, an emotional offer. It was a starting of a relationship because karma is in your favor, wheel of fortune, everything good is happening for you. You went on your intuition. You stuck by your beliefs. And I like the way these two go together too. Because if this is your hope and you let your hope, which is your intuition, guide you. Great. 
defending your position, maybe to keep that happy home. And by defending it, you are victorious. And now you're on to success and great things. The only thing here that bothers me is this. Let me clarify that. Maybe it's just me. Three of Swords. Why is it Three of Swords here? Okay. Oh. Alright. Pisces, what I have on this Three of Swords is the Tower. Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Pisces, how I interpret this, that you had a bad breakup with someone. Or a serious argument. All right, so this can go two ways. But this Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles are both Earth signs. Pisces, maybe there was heartbreak in the past. The Tower being maybe a, a separation, a bad argument. But you reconciled with this person. You kept your faith, you kept your hope, and now you both are doing better. Starting a new home, starting a new life. Maybe this is even conquering some sort of addiction. And you're a better person now. That's one scenario. The other scenario could be that you chose one person to start a life with. Maybe you're involved with two people. But they're both earth signs. So I'm kind of leaning more towards the idea that this was a breakup, a hard argument, maybe a separation, but you're reconciled. And now, because through these differences in having faith and having hope, that you're both moving on and starting something fantastic together. So Pisces, I'm not going to rock the boat on this one anymore. I mean, it was a great re reading. A great reading because everything in your future has victory. Good for you, Pisces. So, thank you again for uh, watching my channel. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see everyone back here in March. Uh, excuse me, April. And um, keep sending that artwork in. I can't leave that guy up there all alone. So, everyone, take care. Bye bye.